Meanwhile, active COVID-19 cases on the University of Arkansas's campus dramatically drop. Right now, there are just over 300 active cases of the virus in the campus community, a decrease of almost 600 cases since last week. KWA's Clarissa Bustamante joins us live from the U of A campus now. And Clarissa, can you tell us why these numbers might be changing? Yeah, Chad Chelsea, one reason might be the rate of recovery. After 10 days, the school automatically chalks up positive cases to recovered ones. Others say it might just be because people are actually following the safety guidelines the school has put in place. While this decline in cases is great to see, I don't think we really know what is happening with COVID on our campus. The University of Arkansas COVID-19 dashboard showed Thursday 305 positive cases of the virus on campus. But journalism professor Brett Schulte questions just how accurate these numbers are. We don't have enough testing on campus now to really know what our positivity rate is. He says it's not necessarily the university's fault, rather a lack of reporting by students. I've heard the rumor that Greek houses or other organizations are sending people out of the county or even out of the state to get tested to keep the numbers on campus low. We don't want them to think that there is a stigma to being tested. There is no punishment to having a positive test. John Thomas with the university says 10 days after a positive test is reported, it's automatically changed to recovered. This is in accordance to guidance from the Department of Health. I think our university and our campus has done a really good job at communicating the guidelines that have been put in place for when on campus. Um, you know, mask wearing, uh, physical distancing, frequent hand washing. Both Thomas and Schulte agree no matter what the numbers are, it's imperative to keep following the guidelines and stay vigilant. I think that's, you know, a really good sign, obviously, but it's not, um, it doesn't mean that the threat's over, that the pandemic's going away. Tomorrow is the last day of the two week ban of on campus activities. Live in Fayetteville, Clarice Bustamante, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.